Good morning, guys. Welcome to a brand new day. We are headed out. Yes, we are headed out for the whole entire day. Did you guys give the horses all their food for the whole day? No. Oh, well, we should have done that. Um, we'll be back, actually. We'll be back by lunchtime. Um, we are headed out, though, to Brooklyn's uh, dance, recital. dance recital. How come I remember this and you don't? Because I've got so much going on in my brain, Gabby. It's hard for me to remember everything. You're the only one going, so you should remember. <laughs> yeah, that is true, actually. We are headed out, and it is a sunny, warm, amazing, bright day. And no, it's raining, raining, raining. Fiona just told me. Cool. Oh, I know. So Fiona just told me that we're not expected to have a hot summer. We're not expected to have a hot summer. I'm like, what do you Thank mean? Thank you. What do you mean? But actually, um, it, a cool summer, like not a, like sometimes it gets really hot here. A I'm not so glad it was cool. You're I'm glad. glad. Um, a not hot summer basically means that it's gonna be great for showing. Like last year, we died in the heat at the shows, didn't we? Sweat we pouring off of us. We only did three shows. Yeah, we only did three shows. This time we, we, yeah. This time we're doing 10. But we are gonna do a derby this year, huh? <coughs> yes. Yeah, Who knows? Who knows what we're gonna end up at? We're gonna do whatever we can, like the most amount of stuff we can. If we find opportunities along the way, and there will be some, because we have amazing trainers that wanna take us all over the place, so that's exciting. Anyway, we're headed out. Uh, Sam and Gabby did chores this morning. Uh, yesterday we went yard sailing and I didn't get a chance to show you guys what we bought. There was so much oh, in yesterday's video I couldn't show you. But anyway, um, I got this purse at yard sale. Which and does not close. I like it. I love a big purse. Like it I, does not close. I though, love guys. purses, but I love a big purse. And uh, this matches my outfit. I also got this adorable plant. Do you guys like it? Like it, it looks real, you guys. It looks like a half dead pretty cute plants and I love it. I also got this little bowl so that I could plant my cactuses because succulents are like really in right now. It is June the 2nd in Canada. Summer is June 21st, right? Yeah. Or June 20th, June 20th or 21st. And I brought my winter coat to put over top of my legs because I'm wearing a dress because I'm so cold. Sophie got at the yard sale yesterday, she bought a new bathrobe and she is wearing it today. Why are you wearing that bathrobe, Sophie? Because I love it. It's nice and warm. Bathrobes are the best thing for keeping you warm. They're like the warmest thing. And so she's wearing her new bathrobe in the car to go to Brooklyn's recital because it is that cold out. So I'm going to leave these guys with the camera. They're going to go shopping for tack because there are some things that we need. Um, I just want to tell you though that I just got a message. So we have a big riding thing. A big huge riding thing set up at the barn for the show. It's about to happen and I got a message. And the message is... Lola's full is on the way. Fiona got had to rush from the barn. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if uh, Brandon's going to take over and we're still going to get to go. But no matter what, there's a baby about to be born that a lot of you guys helped to save that baby's life. So I cannot wait. Stay tuned to Stride, uh, Stride to Harmony's channel because there will be a birthing video. We are here at the Bridal Pass Hack Shop in Kingston. Yes. And we're gonna see what we can buy, but we're here for a bit for your horse, not for saddlebag. Not for saddlebag. Okay. We're here for a bit. We're here for a bit. We're here for that. Not a saddlebag, a bit. Oh, there we go. Okay, what's the need? I think I have a front no. D-ring French. Do they have D-ring? Yeah. Oh, here's a theory. Yeah. It's kind of tricky. Whatever we have here is what we have. We could always ask Belleville or order them in, but... Yes. We need size 5. We need size 5? That's size 5. The map. Five. That's 5 and 0.75. That one's 5. Does that say? No. This is... Well, let's look at these other ones. Maybe you can find... So we need a straight one, right? Yeah, this is. That's five seventy-five. Five. That should be all right. Now, can we return this in the Belleville store? Um, yeah. If we, because we're from Belleville. <laughs> all right, this is what we're gonna get. This. Yep. It's five. Well, it's five point seven five. That should be good enough. All right. 
What else? Oh, saddle pads. No, saddle pads. What's some saddle pads for Stella? Like these? Yeah. These go over top of these. Do they? Yeah. For what? To decorate? Yeah. This is yeah. a nice saddle. This is a nice saddle. No, that's horrible. Nice. Nice saddle. Oh, every time we go somewhere, you have to go to the bathroom. This is all the western stuff. Western stuff. They have Lemus! Oh, look at all the Lemieux they That's got. Cheeky. Oh, you match. Oh, yeah. Puffy black Yeah. Yeah. Cheeky. Can That's I get big it? saddle pad. Please. Is that bigger than normal? No. Oh, and that's a dressage. Yeah, it looks like a dressage. See, look. Yeah. No, well, it doesn't look like a dressage. None of the Lemieux here. This one's a dressage. Yeah, it's more square. We have tons of saddle pads here. Tons of Lemieux. Look at all the colors they got. They got, oh, there's that kind. The plaid. It's white. There's, you could use that one still for, that's just a normal saddle pad. They have different shapes like that. CC is close which is what we use for jumping. Oh, an orange one. Your mom doesn't like orange, remember? I can't get that for Finn, though, because that will, um, uh, clash. clash. It won't clash. Finn works with every color. It works every color. Can I get works every color. trailing holder? <gasps> yeah, we re actually really need one of those, don't we? But we look. We need this more. No, we no, don't. No, we need a martingale. Not we don't need any more we stuff. Need a Let me see this. We don't need any more stuff. So we're going to definitely get this and those stuff. You're going to have to wait. We're going to definitely get it. Dad, I can Oh my gosh, matchy, this is why. Matchy, matchy. This is why I don't like taking the kids with me to the bridal path. Tax shop. They're always making me buy them saddle pads. Anyways, we got our bit. And that's what we're here for. No, Storm doesn't need a martingale. Storm still wants to see him use a martingale over jump. Well, then we got a martingale to try. Texas old one, yeah. No, we have one. We bought one for Stella. Doesn't fit. We've already tried it. Texas size fits. Well, Fiona tried it on Storm. We need one of these so things. A training system. Yeah, we do. Hey, would that be good to pull a hor pull a wagon with it? I like these. I don't know what these are for, but I like them. Okay, well, we're not getting that. I'm sticking to my guns today, and we're only getting a bit. Only a bit. Only a bit. Keep mine clear. Only a bit. Let's see what saddles they got here. Hairnets. This is not that grippy. My saddle's so grippy. Hey, look, it's a saddle. Hey, this might be nice. 25% off. Yeah, look at this saddle. Oh, no, we need to get Finn a saddle. We need to get Finn a saddle. They got all these saddles here. I like this one. You like this one? No. Look, they got ribbons for your hair. Do you want a ribbon for your hair this Mike year? Mike makes ribbons. Can I get different ribbons? Wait, is that for your they're hair? They're not as cute yeah. as my owls. Show bows. Oh, they're cool. They're not as cute as my owls. Why do I have to hold purses now? Why am I holding purses? Because. Why can't you take your purse to the bathroom? So what do you do when you're done shopping at tax store? You go to Tim Hortons and eat brownies and wait for your mom to be done. We may go back there early. Ooh, we are home and it is windy and cold, believe it or not. I gotta put on a sweater. Anyway, we're home and getting ready to go to the barn. Things have been crazy. So there's a whole 
big, huge, long day filled with pre-show rides. So everybody's gonna get to ride in the arena, do the course, do everything. We were gonna get to do it all. And then Fiona got the call that there was a head and a hoof sticking out of Lola, out of the blue. Like, it was crazy. Anyways, so Fiona had to run and leave. So now Brandon is at the barn and he's gonna be coaching us and it's all good. Fiona was bringing us a saddle for Finn, but now it's in her truck because obviously she didn't think to drop it off because she was racing to the barn. So you're gonna ride in the same saddle you did last time, okay? Finn's happy. Look at him looking at her. How to do it. Come on, Finny Finn. It's hard for them to see in the dark, that's all. Come on. Good boy. That's a way to do it. You are such a good boy. Yay. You got your work cut out for you today, Gabby. When I was at Brooklyn dance recital, um, at one point this little girl came out she was probably eight and she did a solo dance and she kind of was built like Sophie but a lot shorter and she came out and her instructor was with her because her instructor danced kind of on the side so she could watch and make sure she remembered everything and the little girl came out and her head was hanging down and her arms were really close to her body and she was looking up to see if the audience was looking at her and um, we were all staring at her and then she got even closer and tighter in her body and her head went lower and it was obvious that she was like terrified and um, she started to do the dance and she was barely moving and she kept on she kept on sneaking little peeks at the audience and what do you guys think the audience did when this little girl was so obviously stressed out and upset and nervous the audience went wild. They started clapping and yelling and encouraging to her to go. And um, as soon as everybody started clapping, she got a little taller, she got a little brighter. She started moving her motions a little bit better. And every single time that little girl started to droop again and started to get super inside of her head and nervous and scared, the audience would go wild. And I literally had tears in my eyes. The arena was packed. It was huge. There were so many people there. And to see that many people support one little girl, just one little girl, you guys. So I want to tell you guys, um, it moved me to tears. Like, I could hardly even handle the beauty in that situation. So I just want to say to you guys to support one another. Just go out there and support one another. And if you find, and if you are struggling like a lot of us do to find anything to support somebody with because you disagree and you're just so different from them, find one little tiny thing. Just one little tiny thing and go from there and support them. And for any of you guys suffering confidence issues yourselves, just know that I believe in you and I trust that you're gonna be able to do it. So go out there and do your best. That's all you can do. Today I was thinking back to the life when we used to board and having Storm away and I was nervous to bring him here. Oh, it's like, it's like this is heaven. If heaven feels one quarter as amazing as having these horses here at home, oh man, you guys. I, you know how you get endorphins released in your body when you exercise and then when you feel, when you're getting ready to exercise, your body already anticipates it and it starts like wanting to move and do the exercise. It's the same with grooming and the same with being with horses, the same thing happens, the same endorphins are released and you get like, I get antsy thinking, oh, I just wanna brush her and just bond with her. And yeah, it's like, horses are amazing, you guys. But you guys already know that. Uh, I feel like I miss you guys a lot. Like our video didn't go up until really late today and that makes me sad. 
it's because we're having internet problems and I feel like when that happens then I didn't get a chance to connect with you guys and then you feel like lost like I I don't know how to explain it I feel like that too when I haven't been able to spend the whole entire day with the horses Having horses makes it harder and harder to be like a normal person. I just want to stay home, hibernate in my house, and just hang out with them. My family and them. Pretty soon, I'm going to tell my family, if you ever want to see me again, come visit, because I'm not leaving. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.